kill. We got lucky finding a lot of great vintage. Um, it, you know, a lot of it is 40, 50 years old now. So um, it's either faded or missing piece of belt or jacket or something. So that's a little frustrating, but we can then use it as a template. Um, but because I've worked with Ryan Murphy now for 24 years and we've done a lot of vintage shows, I've been able to build up a quite the great vintage vendor list and I make, I do my research for each character with the color palette and the sizes, and I send it off to people and they send me photos and then they ship it to me. Lou Eyrick, who did the costumes, just went to painstaking lengths to just get it exactly right. She's a genius. Mm. Um, and I think it was fun for all of us. We all love a bit of glamour, let's be honest. <laughs> Whatever you're doing, just no, don't do it in public, no. dear. Go sit down. You're telling people that I murdered my poor late husband? Yeah, I can tend to be a little bit annoying with my detail, especially with tailoring. Like, it's got to just be right. But um, I, I tried to keep up on it. I, I could have I used another year to really study it all, but you just don't get the time in TV. But I did try to, like, with the earrings, make sure that's a 70s earring. We're doing 68. We can't use that anymore. We came up, came up with this idea of this beautiful, slightly evil menagerie on a on a on a on a pond of different birds. Each lady was a different, you know, kind of level where it extended into creature level, right? Because it was like extended reality. And so then I started looking, you know, all those moments in in film magic from you know from Jim Henson to Fellini to uh, you know, to Zeffirelli and all these magical moments where reality, surrealism, and history come together. 